Hello, and welcome to another fun-filled Sunday. Fuck off, asshole! Leave me alone! Don't you know it's fucking Sunday? Today's going to be a fun day. Um, I want to uh, essentially do something that I saw on um, a Native Instruments video that they put up on their YouTube channel. It's really a badass. It's basically where they just take uh, blocks from what has now become their, um, you know, blocks, uh, you know, bass and blocks primes collections. And they make and just an 808, you know, sound just using basic stuff. So it's really, really badass. That's what I basically want to do today is uh, replicate that within uh, the new Reactor Block 6.3. Also, I want to kind of show how you put it together. If no one really knows how to do that, it's really, really simple to do. So we're going to go over that today. Again, for the basic 808 sound, we're just going to use or try to use as much as possible uh, block space and blocks primes, blocks only. And then maybe for some saturation, we might add some other funky stuff. Um, but for now, we're just going to start with block space and blocks primes. I know for a fact we're going to need some stuff from the Bento Box library. For example, a couple of envelopes. So I'm going to drag those in here. I know I'm going to need a VCA, so I'm going to drag that in here. I also know I'm going to need from the Primes, Monarch, the staple of the 808 sound, which is a self-resonating um, filter, and that's what we're going to use. And I believe that's pretty much it. We're going to start with this and uh, see where we land. I'm not going to need the clock for today. Uh, I'm just going to patch things in um, through the stereo out. So uh, let's dig in. And um, I'm going to go ahead and name this particular... Uh, envelope. This is going to be the VCA envelope. And let's go ahead and patch that in. Um, so go ahead and color that blue. And uh, go ahead and modulate that. And I'm going to set, I know, a fairly long uh, sustain uh, or release rather. So let's go ahead and patch that in. Um, just to get, you know, a good basic, you know, drum sound. Um, let's go ahead and patch in our outputs. And then for the filter, we're going to patch that into the VCA. Now, believe it or not, the filter is actually all we're going to need. Uh, so as far as the gate is concerned, um, we're actually going to use the um, envelope here to trigger the monarch. So we're gonna go um, we're gonna go out into uh, actually we're gonna go into mod B and what I'm gonna do is go ahead and hook in the gate here and it looks like we have some movement now of the cutoff. So that's, ba that's the basic function we want. Now, if we set this resonance to a high uh, resonance, what we're going to get is self-oscillation, which is essentially it becomes like a sine wave. Um, you know, it's different because it's obviously, um, you know, a, a filter. So... Uh, what we want to do is start hearing some sound, so we also want to trigger this gate over here. So, 
So with this ADSR, we're going to go ahead and name it. Um, just we'll just say S F L T filter envelope. Now I don't know if we need that much modulation. But you see, we're kind of getting closer. So depending on the release that we set here, that will affect uh, how much, you know, uh, this cutoff will then um, extend over time and then slowly come back to its starting position. Over two seconds, one second, half a second. Quarter second, you know, in between a hundred and a quarter second for me is pretty sweet. So we'll kind of keep it there for now. Let's add some feedback, which adds some saturation to the circuit and just kind of fatten it up overall. Now we see it's only one, and that sounds pretty cool <laughs> right away. It's not bad, um, and it's running kind of hot. Let's tame the uh, volume. And under 10 minutes, that's what I was projecting. I was hoping we would get it in under 10 minutes. Let's crawl this out to about the 14, 15 minute mark. And this is a little bit of the drum composition we were working on from last episode, and so we might be able to have some 808 kick drum that we can add along to this as a possibility. But what I'd like to do now is I'd like to actually control the pitch of this um, 808 uh, with the note in. So what I'm going to do is add a pitch. I'll color code it red here. So pitch is red, all my gate signals are green, uh, modulation, modulation signals are blue, audio is purple. Um, and now what I can do is I can use this A input to um, So I'm going to kind of just toy around with this until I get to a uh, setting that kind of works well for, um, you know, being able to have a nice spread of different pitches, basically, of 808 sounds across the keyboard.
That sounds not bad. And uh, now let's think about um, some saturation that we could add, possibly. So a distortion circuit. I mean, this feedback a thing, feedback a thing. This feedback uh, loop, you know, this, uh, saturation uh, added to the Monarch filter is cool, but I want to maybe add a driver or something else. So let's check it out. Distortion, multiband distortion. Let's maybe check this out. driver and then uh, mixer so let's see what we got um All right, standard going into channel one. All right. And pretty, pretty standard stuff. And then um, let's. Go ahead and run it also into the multiband, and then run multiband into number two and see what we got. Let's turn number one down and just run number two and mess around with number two and see what we got. too hot that's why it sounds great Okay, so that's number two. And then number three. Let's see. Let's save this for about the 18 minute mark. All right, let's turn down number one and just leave number three going. that too. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, how about a filter? Overall, I, th I like the DJ filter, so let's just add this. Why not? So essentially the mix is, is what's running everything. So we're gonna run this in between the mix out. Map that. No. Sounds pretty dope. That's about the level it needs to run, but you want to turn it up. You want to really hear it. You want to really hear the thump of it. So what you do is you um, you mix it well in a track and you add it to something like what's coming up in just a short moment. So maybe we'll take this time to clean this up a tad. Let's see what we got. It's not bad. That's not bad right there. So that's without the 808.
So then without the 808, this is what it sounds like. This was the original from last time. Still awesome, you know, not bad, but with the 808. <laughs> Until next.